Hi, my name is Timmy, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a clean with me video of my whole flat. I haven't done one of these before and I saw someone else do one on YouTube and I just thought it would be a nice way to kind of just show a therapeutic video of me going around the house and also a good way to practice using my camera to get some different shots using different lenses. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm starting out in my bedroom where I have a lot of stuff all over the place because I've basically been getting dressed throughout the week and not putting my stuff away properly. So I had to kind of get my clothes and short out my wardrobe. As you can see, it's quite full and kind of overflowing with clothes. So generally I do need to try and get like a chest of drawers or something or um, change my wardrobe design. But that's something I'm thinking about doing in the future. But right now, I don't want to spend the money on it because I had a person come and give me a quote and it was like a thousand pounds or plus and I just think it's not really worth the money right now. So um, that'll be another time. My ironing board is obviously in the bedroom as well. I think I just had been ironing some stuff as I was going out during the week and I hadn't put it away. So I thought, well, um, might as well leave it out if I was going to use it again the next day. But then today, obviously, as you can see, I'm kind of taking the clothes off and just getting everything organized and done uh, nicely. You can see my clothes basket is obviously overflowing with a large amount of clothes and that's something that I need to again deal with. I just have so many clothes. I think I'm someone that has obviously over the years amassed a large amount of clothing because I just like clothes and I like buying new things and if I see something I like I'll think about buying it and then buy it eventually. And so generally I have this basket is always full and then I have a basket in my storage cupboard which is also full and then obviously I have the wardrobe full of clothes and probably at this time I think I also had clothes hanging up on the a drying rack drying or clothes horse drying so I do have a lot of clothes and that kind of means that often my room is just full of clothes not because I'm messy but just because there isn't anywhere else for them to go which is why I want to get a chest of drawers because I can then fold some stuff and put my trousers and shorts in like a certain level and then kind of spread some t-shirts out because right now there just isn't enough room for the clothes I have and I've, I have done this is like probably my third iteration of doing um coals and throwing away clothes and kind of you know going through and selling stuff or throwing stuff away but I get to things that I actually do wear and I kind of, what is interesting and what I do like is that having this many clothes, it means I can kind of make a lot of different outfits and pair different things together, pair different things together in ways that I wouldn't normally. So it means that I can kind of like try and challenge myself to wear things I haven't worn before and then build an outfit from that basis. So I do keep clothes. And I do think I just need more storage space basically. I'm making my bed. There's something I find quite therapeutic about making your bed. I think even though I know I'm going to get in the bed later that day and mess it all up basically, it is nice to look in your room and see that the bed is made and laid out and it makes it feel like you're in a hotel, it's like a nice treat for yourself. So I do enjoy doing that and laundry and doing sheets used to kind of annoy me but now I kind of really actually relish the feeling of having fresh sheets and getting into bed so I try and keep up with doing that every week or two. Um, depending on how often I'm sleeping in my bed and wherever I, if I'm traveling or whatever but yeah it's just nice to have the bed ready and so um, getting into, into fresh sheets is always nice. So I didn't actually change my sheets this time because I, I changed them like two days before I made this video, um, but still made the bed nicely. And then cleaning my um, bedside table, I just had to give everything a good dust. My my flat is just really dusty. I actually bought like, um, not a dehumidifier, but one of those things, that, an air purifier. And I have it on as often as I can without draining my um, electricity because I don't want to waste money. But my flat is just a very dusty flat and I will dust this table and then in a week's time come back and it'll be covered in dust. There's just something about I don't know the way that the property has been built or the storage. I try and hoover as much as I can as well, but I think having a cat doesn't help because of cat hairs, but generally a very dusty house. But yeah, nice to give it a good spray and clean it, it looks way better. And then put a candle out just to kind of set the general mood, which is nice. There's the under storage of this bedside table, which I kind of just chuck stuff in when I'm getting into bed and I don't know where to put it. So I'm just sorting that out, going through my, um, my little drawer as well. There's lots of cables and wires in there. I need to sort that out another day, but today wasn't the day. I found some knitting actually, which I, I started knitting in November last year and I haven't finished the scarf since then, so I need to try and do that this week actually, I forgot about that. It's one of those things that I was, I think I was on holiday with friends and we were driving a lot, so I was sitting in the car and then I got back and I don't really have much time generally in life to be still when I'm in the UK because I'm obviously like doing stuff and working and editing and filming and seeing friends and so I don't have a lot of time where I'm sat still just doing nothing other than when I'm watching TV, which is like Netflix and I watch that in bed, so I don't, I can't sit up and knit, which is bad, but trying to use the living room more and watch TV in the living room on my TV that I bought so I want to get my money's worth. Here I am now just doing my um, chest of jewels which is the one I'm going to replace. Um, I have a lot of stuff on here, it's generally like skincare and like um, stuff I use to get ready when I'm changed I'll like spray myself, moisturise my face or my body and then take my vitamins and stuff. So again gave that a good dust because as you can see it's got a collection of dust on it and then gave it a good spray as well. 
um, just so I could then clean it down and then return the stuff onto the shelf. And that was the shelf done, so I moved on to hoovering next. Um, so this Dyson Hoover is a Hoover that I got, and I got it as a housewarming gift for myself when I moved in because I just knew that I needed a good Hoover because I have carpets and the flat is dusty and I have a cat, so you know that Dyson Hoover just does the job and it's lovely, it's, it's lovely how much it cleans, but also shocking when you hoover and you think someone's clean and you look at the cylinder and it's full of dust and you hoovered a few days ago, so the Dyson's great. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I got the floor clean. The room looks quite good to me, I'm happy with that. Like it's very tidy, I tried to keep it like that for as much as possible, but obviously life happens and things change. But yeah, um, nice and clean. This was the room after when I was finished, which I was really happy about. I felt clean and very calm space to go to bed later. Then I moved on to the corridor. So here I was um, cleaning the mirror and I find wiping mirrors and dusting mirrors so confusing because some. I, this is a microfiber cloth that I bought and I think this one actually worked. But then sometimes you'll get streaks or dusty bits on it. So I never really know what what the hack is or what the rules are for making things stay clean in terms of mirror. Now this is my storage, my shoe storage, which I need to actually replace because as you can see, all my shoes don't really fit in there. So I'm gonna have to get something, I think this week to replace it, just cause I got it on, I think I got it on Gumtree for like 20 pounds uh, like when I moved in and it was useful, but it is kind of clanky and awkward to use. Cause you have to put stuff in there and you open it and then sometimes the shoes get stuck. And then if you have more than, you know, there's two in each, each box so two times four is eight if you have more than eight pairs of shoes um you can't really do anything else with, with them they have to go in my they go in my cupboard in my bedroom where all the clothes are and that isn't great and then obviously so many letters i need to open i'm bad with opening letters it's my task for today is to open them but we'll see what happens then i just when i'm leaving the house i put stuff on there when i'm walking around the house and i'm not sure where to put something i'll put it on there like deodorant for example then it ends up sitting there that's doji running around <laughs> in the corridor that's my cat um but then i managed to tie that up tied that up quite well and it was done so then I was just moving around and getting ready for the next portion. So yeah, I wanted to give it a good um, uh, dust. So I sprayed it a little bit before and then I wiped it down and that was me done. And then onto the spare bedroom. So this is a spare room. Um, my sister uses it on and off throughout the week for uni and then also friends stay sometimes. So I keep it tidy. Um, there's not much stuff in here, just some of my stuff. And then Doji likes to use this room as his own bedroom. So when I do, I leave it locked, not because he can't use the room, but because he just knocks stuff over. So like the plants are on the windowsill. I'll come in sometimes and they've been knocked down because he likes to go on the windowsill and watch, you know, watch um, what's happening outside the window. So like birds and kids running around and cats in the, in the courtyard. So I keep it shut, but then sometimes I'll let him have a nap on there or I'll let him sleep under the, under the desk, which you'll see in a second. I think when I eventually have the plants set up where they need to be in the house, which probably won't be in here, then I can let him have more use of the room because he does love it. As soon as the door's open, he runs in there and he just sleeps there. So obviously there's something about it for him. Um, the blue is, the room is, the blue is room. The room is blue because I just, um, I liked, I wanted a blue room when I moved in here and painted the house. I wanted a blue room. So I went for blue because it's one of my favorite colors. And then the curtains in the room were fortunately already blue. So it actually just helped with the general theme. This is where my desk sits. So I um, share this and I kind of come and sit in here when I need to work, but I generally work in other places in the house just because I don't, I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's a habit, I don't really sit in this space that often. And then as I said, my sister's here sometimes working, so. Um, but yeah, so spray that down, again, keep it tidy. I had my laptop here because I was actually sat doing some editing um, before filming this video. Um, so yeah, it's a nice desk, uh, it's a bit small, it's not, it's not very deep, but it does do the job. And then back to the old Dyson, giving it a good hoover, which was, um, this room is actually doesn't get that dusty because I think it's shut most of the time. Dust is just dead human skin cells, right? So that's, I guess, what people say. So gave it a good hoover again and just, yeah, my coats are there hanging up as well. I use that as a coat rack when people come into the house, just keep it out of the way because I don't have room in the corridor. Um, and then that was done. That was room done, nice and tidy. And then onto the bathroom, which I find one of the hardest um, but most rewarding ones to clean because there's so many different parts to do. So you can see I've got some, lots of stuff on the shelf. So I wanted to start by kind of spraying down the toothpaste marks and wiping stuff off and keeping it clean. So got underneath there, did some nice good deep clean. Um, so wiped that down, got it clean, got the um, tile shine again, because um, it's a bit of, it looks a bit dry, a bit lime scaly. 
and then gave everything a good scrub that I needed to, so like the metal toothbrush holders, and then moved to the other side, so there's loads of stuff in there, like I've got lots of products, so like stuff in my hair, my skin, um, my shaving stuff, my medication, my hair wax, my gels, um, wipes, just stuff like generally that you need to have in a bathroom, so there's a lot of stuff, and I don't have any like cabinet or storage space, which means obviously stuff is just out, so I try and keep it tidy. Um, that's some floss that just fell off um, because I don't like to have everything looking messy, messy in the bathroom of course It's just nice to keep things slightly organized as much as you can So I try and stick and keep myself honest with that so I gave that a good wipe down as well um, And again, it's just nice when you kind of spray the tiles down You see all the kind of the dried bits of water or the lime scully stuff or toothpaste just kind of wipe away So that was that And then when I was all done with that, I started rearranging everything, so putting things in the order that I kind of use them. Um, so like some of my skincare stuff and my hair oils. Um, and then I was basically done with that. So I think with a lot of stuff, you can't have it perfect, but that's how I kind of arrange it. So in my head, that feels kind of tidy and nicely kind of positioned. And there's some face masks that I need to actually use. I've been wanting to use those for weeks and weeks and weeks. I keep saying I'll do it on a Sunday. I just never get around to it. And I want to just take the time to sit down and do a face mask and do a charcoal mask and just cleanse my skin. Anyway, onto the mirror. So again, that's what I was saying about wiping. This one didn't clean as well. I had to really give it a give it some welly, put some elbow grease in there, but it was fine in the end. Then the sink. So giving that a real like a lot of a lot, a lot of um, cleaning spray, and then I use a sponge to scrub it. Unfortunately, the black little plunger in the centre has started to peel. So like the um, black paint is coming off, and it's like got some metal showing through. So I'm not sure. This sink is actually one of my biggest regrets of this house when I changed the bathroom. It's just so small, and so when you open the tap, water pours out and goes everywhere. Um, wiping the toilet seats, of course you want to clean the inside of the toilet, but you also have to clean the outside. So, you know, cleaning the the um, the lid, and then of course got to clean the inside of the toilet, so it could spray, um, and then use some tissue paper. I don't like using the sponges I use for the rest of the bathroom, because I think it's, in my mind, a bit cross contamination -y. And then use a toilet brush, give everything a good scrub, spray some bleach, bleach in there as well, and then just, clean behind the toilet as well, because I want to make sure that everything is clean as much as possible. Um, and then gave it a flush, and we were kind of done with that, really. Then to the bathtub. So the bathtub, again, is one that, again, because the flat is so dusty, it does generally collect dust throughout the day. So I do try and just rinse it down as much as I can when I use the bathroom. So this is me cleaning the bathtub and giving it a good scrub. I'll let you see that. Then I moved on to the glass pane and the window pane um, that separates the water from the rest of the bathroom. So yeah, again, this one you have to kind of keep clean because it's glass, so just gave it a good spray and then used the brush to kind of scrub it down. It's all good because it moves quite a lot and so obviously when I need to rinse the outside, I, I worry about getting water everywhere. So I pushed it in and then used the shower head just to give it a good rinse and get all this, the spray off and the cleaning stuff off. And then onto the floor. So I have... I used, you'll see me using two different mops in this uh, in this um, video. So this is one that's just a cloth head. So I sprayed that in. It's good for getting in the corners and kind of like dragging dust out of crevices. Uh, so I used that in the bathroom. And it is good. I also have a spray one, which you'll see later. I use, but I can put my foot on this one and really push and like drag some of the dirt off because the, the tiles on the floor are white. You do see like markings and dust on there. So it's good to help kind of like really push in and get stuff out of the bathroom where I need to. You can see me again using my foot to kind of apply some pressure and drag the stuff out, which is always, um, it's always a tricky one. That's me knocking the camera. But then I can shake the dust off basically and then come back in and then keep keep um, dragging stuff out. So I find it easy to use in the general um, spray one in the bathroom. Although I, I do use that to finish in the bathroom sometimes, but no, uh, this one I find kind of just helps. It just sticks onto the dust better on the white where I can see things moving a bit more. And it's a bit thicker, so it's easier to like kind of absorb the water that the absorb the spray that's on the floor. This is the bathroom when I was done, all finished and clean and tidy. Feels nice, you can see the mirror's got some streaks on there, but yeah, nice and clean, happy with that one. And then I moved on to the living room, which as you can see was in quite a state. This is more because I'd been moving stuff out of the bedrooms and the other rooms um, as I was tidying, like some sprays and stuff. So I started by just giving everything a quick arrange and putting stuff where it should go or close to where it should go, so it's kind of in the right spot and then I would go back and then tidy 
those things up when I got to those sections. I, as I told you, I had clothes hanging because it's always clothes drying because I have so many clothes. So I moved that out of the way and then packed up some stuff, like things I'd worn or things I'd used to film some videos I'd been filming in here the day before. So I had to just tidy up these things and get everything folded away. Um, this is the thing I think it's, what I find with tidying and just li living generally is that if you, it's better to just put the thing where it goes straight away at the time when you are dealing with it rather than leaving it to later because then it just means that the second time you put something down, the third time more and stuff, more and more stuff just piles up and becomes in the way and then you just think, well, I'll just wait until I do a big clean and then clean it up. But then it means that you're constantly adding more and more stuff. So I'm trying to now when I come home, just like put my stuff in my wardrobe and like put my keys in the right place and just put stuff where it goes because it only takes two or three minutes then it means I don't have to spend like a long time like now I spent like 10 minutes putting stuff where it went so it's all habitual trying to change your habits and change your living styles obviously it's not the easiest thing to do on the planet but I'm trying to work on kind of getting towards doing that and just being more organized and setting myself up and better set in the future by changing some of my habits and behaviors right so once I was done with tidying up everything I put my attention to my sofa. I love this sofa. I got it from Sofa Club, I think, uh, in the Lakeshore Shopping Centre in Romford. You can order online as well. It was um, a good price. And so you see the little octopus that you just saw. That was my <laughs> octopus I bought from H&M. I just thought it was cute. So I use the Dyson on, on the um, on the sofa because of cat hair. So I use the animal attachment. I really just give it a good hoover on the full power setting, blast it off. And you can see it does actually really get in there and kind of gets stuff off. And then I had this lovely um, Febreze freshener that I sprayed on to just kind of get everything, <laughs> try to move Doshi away. Then I sprayed the freshener onto the couch. I like the smell, it makes it everything just feel cottony and fresh and clean and new, so that's really good. Then more dusting again, just came to the TV and gave it a good dust. Um, there are some finger smudgings and I guess I touch the TV sometimes. I don't really know when I'd be touching the TV, but yeah, I need to deal with that later. And then got the stuff off the wood and gave that a good spray and gave it a wipe. This is um an older um, TV stand that I got from my old housemate's dad. Um, we had it when we lived together and then I just took it with me to the flat because he didn't want to take it with him. So I love that. It's a good piece. It's one of the my favorite pieces of the room. It just stands out and it's big and does the job. Then we're back to the Dyson again to give everything a good hoover. As you can see as well, I have lots and lots of plants. I'm a plant dad. I have, I think like 20 or 30 plants. I can't remember the exact number, but I've amassed them over the years. Some have lasted with me for like four or five years, some are newer. And it is a really, it is really a lot of effort keeping these plants alive, because obviously the bigger ones have to water in the, in the bathtub. Um, but that was the living room done as well, so all clean. And then onto the kitchen, which I think was probably in the worst state out of all the rooms, because I just had, I'd cooked a few meals. I had, I think I had some friends over. I'd been doing some like rearranging, and there was just stuff everywhere. And so it took me a while to really get the surface is clean so I could actually just start tidying up. So I had to kind of get some stuff and throw it in the bin, empty the, re the recycling, um, take some trash out, put some stuff like some food, stuff that was, you know, that needs to be thrown away in the bin. Um, so I just took my time starting with by like doing it in sections and putting things away, figuring out what these receipts were. And if I actually need them, I do have this habit of keeping receipts. So sometimes I'd be like, oh, well, I need to return that. Well, I need the Morrison's receipt from food I bought. Probably not. I'll put it in the bin. So I started off with the left side. So again, just getting in the tiles, really getting in the deep cleaning there, spraying and cleaning stuff, wiping surfaces down. The hob as well is one that I find food splatters and sprays, and before you know it, there's stuff on there that's stuck on and maybe burnt and cooked. So I tried to give it a good, a really good wipe um, just to get it all clean and shiny. Um, and yeah, by that point, I was then done, which was good. So now on to dishwashing. So I... Generally, this is my one way of these things about being an adult is that you cook, right? And then you, and then you maybe you don't clean straight away because maybe you're watching TV or it's late and you go to bed and you clean the next morning and then it's time to have breakfast and you cook again and then there's, again, there's plates and then you need to wash and then you wash before you have lunch and then you cook and then you wash and it's like, the cycle of constantly washing for me is so annoying and so draining because I'll get the kitchen tidy and have to cook and then it's like, well, What's the point? So I had some stuff I had to clean up, um, some pots and pans, some stuff I had to wash. Um, so I, I have a dishwasher as you saw, I do put stuff in there, but I generally hadn't used a dishwasher until this video for about a month or two months. So I just find you have to rinse stuff to put it in the dishwasher. By the time I start rinsing, I'm like, well, I might as well just give it a good scrub because that probably won't come off in the dishwasher. And then I'm like, well, I'm washing the, the item now. I might as well just wash it fully. So I just wash it and then put it by hand. So I did wash quite a lot of the stuff that was out here by hand. But some things I thought, well, I might as well use the dishwasher because I paid for it and it's just sat there. And it isn't, I think, drastically more expensive than washing by hand. So I just put some bigger things in there that I thought would do well with a nice long wash. Um, but stuff I could do by hand, I just did myself. And I find washing actually generally 
relatively therapeutic if I'm like listening to a good podcast or just standing around I've had a long day it's a good way to stand and think about things whilst doing something so my back does hurt though because the sink's quite low and I'm always leaning which is not the best um here's more close-up shots you see I'm giving this pan a really good scrub I think I'd made some chicken so I soaked it in the um in the plastic tupperware and then I was now just kind of dealing with that and that's the thing with grease you have to have a lot of hot water and you have to really get in there so I think with the dishwasher I just don't trust and it's going to get all the grease off properly so I do like to kind of get my hand in there and actually like scrub the grease off the surfaces and make sure it's clean especially again when it's chicken making sure that things are kind of um washed and scrubbed first and I actually ended up putting that in the dishwasher which I didn't <laughs> remember so yeah use my hand first and then kind of let it have a long wash in the dishwasher to get it disinfected properly um, and then scrubbing down this chopping board, which I love. I got this from, I think, H&M Home. It's just it's nice for serving food or like cheeses and stuff as well. So I have that out generally just to kind of use and give to friends. And now we're back to rubbing down the, the tiles again. You know, behind the sink stuff sprays and does get on there and bits of like, I don't know what you even call it, like brown lime scaly stuff, just like where there's lots of water constantly touching the tile. Sometimes you can get like deposits of stuff, so I like to wipe those down. Then again, just dusting over the sockets, making sure they're clean. Those are my cornrows, look at them, they were nicely done by a lovely lady. Um, yeah, so wiping all that stuff down, making sure I'm keeping it clean, and I wanted to make sure the whole kitchen was sparkling so that I could kind of look back and say, well, you know, it's good to do a deep clean. So when I do a deep clean, I do like to do things properly, so I'll take the time to go into all the different things that I really need to do. Just that it's like clean and I can do that once a month or once every two months. I do like a nice proper clean of the house and then it's like I can just maintain it at a certain level of cleanliness. There I am, smiling at the camera, moving on to now the the cupboard. So again, these are, I love them, they're matte, they're grey. My kitchen was a Wren's kitchen. But because they're matte, you do see fingerprints on them very easily and smudges. So I have to make sure I keep those clean. So generally I'll try and get down and just give them a good scrub uh, every every week or two. Because you, it's not nice, nice going in the kitchen and seeing oil prints all over your kitchen that's the only thing that I think can be tough if it was like not mats you probably wouldn't see it as much so deal with that and then I was done in the kitchen actually um with all the cells and stuff so I had a candle that I wanted to light just to make it smell nice again and kind of set the mood so I had a candle that I set up there and it was beautiful nice and simple and gentle smell and that was the kitchen which you can see is obviously a lot tidier than it was before and so now I came with a Dyson and then just got little crumbs and little things that fall off the counter when you're cooking it out of the corners um Nice, quick and easy because it's a hard floor. Then it was time to come with the second mop which I own, which is the spray mop, which I love. Um, I don't think I had any liquid in there, so I actually just sprayed the floor first and then just went in and dragged it. But normally I have liquid in there, so that kind of, you can just spritz it and spray. I think I added some in the end later. But that just makes it easy and it's a very good mop. It does do really well with hard floors like this, I think better than the bathroom sometimes. And then that was the kitchen done. I was really happy with that. I kind of had everything set up nicely. So that was the kitchen done. That was actually the whole house done. That's my deep clean fully done. So that's the deep clean video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this and also more videos where I talk about life, my general experience as an adult, be sure to like, subscribe and follow to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.